A blessed feast of St. Augustine, everyone. St. Augustine of Hippo, one of the greatest minds the church has ever been privileged to, to behold. We were pleased this morning to have this relic of St. Augustine on the altar at Mass. And I want to take a moment and just show you this relic and to explain something about them. There are three kinds of relics. There's a first-class relic, second-class relic, and third-class relic. First-class relics are bones and pieces of the saint. Second-class relics are uh, things that um, the saint um, may have uh, owned, like clothing primarily. Third-class or uh, third-class relics will be things that are touched to a first-class relic, like a piece of cloth touching uh, touching the bone. This is of St. Augustine, St. Augustine ECD, Bishop, Confessor, and Doctor. They usually come in a round um, a receptacle like this, and on the back, one of the ways to verify them very carefully is when you open the back, there is a seal, and the seal is intact, and there is literally the red tape that one would need to, where's the camera? One would need to um, cut through. Every relic has this seal on them to show they have been authenticated. And this one also comes with a certificate from the Vicar General of the Diocese of Rome. This was, um, the certificate was made in 1983. This is the seal of the Vicar General. Um, from 1983, we learned these are these are the bones ex ossibus, Saint Agostini, um, bishop, confessor, and doctor. People ask, how do we know this is actually the bone of Saint Augustine? Well, you know the thing is, relics are objects that inspire faith, and they're not the matter of faith itself. So do I know this is actually a part of the bone of St. Augustine? No, I don't know that. I don't know when I go to the Smithsonian in Washington that the top hat was actually worn by, by Abraham Lincoln, but it inspires me to think about the man and his, and his great achievements and his virtue. And this relic uh, reminds me of the truth of the saints and the truth of the incarnation of faith that's been embodied and what this man lived through, what he saw, um, and what he, what all the saints they lived and died for. And in a time like this, where we're going through this global pandemic, I think about St. Augustine, what he endured, what he, what he, how he prayed and how he prayed through, through the difficulties of life. So it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's an object that inspires my faith and strengthens my faith. And my faith is not placed in the relic itself. I hope you enjoyed this. We have about 13 or 14 relics at St. Timothy's. And every time that we are privileged to have one on the altar, I will be sure to show it to you.